the factors of 30 are we say 1 times 30 is 30, 2 times 15 is 30, 3 times 10 is 30. We can't find a whole number to multiply 4. Then we can see 5 times 6 is 30 and so on. And we did this in a previous video. But using this approach we can find the factors of 30 to be as follows. Now using the same approach, the factors of 40 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. What are the factors in common to 30 and 40? Well let's have a look. They both have got 1, they both have 2, they both have 5, they have 10 and they don't have anything else in common. So we can see 10 is the highest common factor. Therefore. The highest common factor of 30 and 40 is 10. So we can write out that the highest common factor of 30 and 40 is 10. Please note, 10 is the highest number which will divide exactly into 40 and 30. Another way to find the highest common factor of 30 and 40 is to take each number in turn and to express it in its prime factors. Now we've seen this technique in the previous video and we can see that 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. We do the same now with 40. We express this in its prime factors and we use the factor tree as you can see here. And we end up with these prime numbers so we can write out 40 as being 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 which is 2 to the 3 times 5. Then we look to see what they've got in common. Now they have a 2 in common. That is a factor of both 30 and 40. They have a 5 in common. That is a factor of both 30 and 40. Therefore, what we do, we multiply the factors they have in common. So we take the 2 and we multiply it by the 5 to give us 10. So the highest common factor of 30 and 40 is 10. Find the highest common factor of 42, 98 and 112. Well what we do, we use the factor tree and we find each number expressed in terms of its prime factors. And we can see that 42 becomes 2 times 3 times 7. We do the same for 98. We generate its factor tree and we can see that this ends up as being 2 times 7 to the power 2. Now we do the same for 112, we produce its factor tree as we can see here and then we end up with the following representation when we highlight all of the prime numbers as 112 being 2 to the 4 times 7. We now inspect the prime factors of each number and we can see they all have 2 in common. Notice we don't choose the 2 to the 4 and here they got 7 and 7 to the 2 and 7 in common, we choose the 7. We multiply the 2 by the 7 to give us 14. Therefore the highest common factor of 42, 98 and 112 is 14. If we take the 42 and divide it by 14 we get 3. If we take the 98 and divide that by 14 we get 7. And if we divide the 112 by 14 we get 8. And we can see that 14 did divide into everything. And this 14 is the highest factor that will divide into 42, 98 and 112. Please note, when choosing the common prime factors, we didn't choose 2 to the 4, we chose the 2. We didn't choose 7 to the 2, we chose the 7. And this is important to remember, you choose the lowest one that they have in common and you find how many of the lowest ones they have in common and then you multiply them together. And in this case we located the 2 and the 7 to give us the 14. Find the highest common factor of 4, 10 and 12. Well we express each in terms of its prime factor, so 4, 10 and 12 you can see I'm using the factor tree here as we've done in previous examples and we end up by seeing that 4 is 2 squared, 10 is 2 times 5 
and 12, well, we can see that is 2 squared times 3. And we see what they have in common. And the thing they have in common is the 2. Not the 2 squared, the 2. So the highest common factor of 4, 10 and 12 is 2. And we can see that the 4, the 10 and the 12 can be divided by the 2. And that confirms that it is a common factor. But we can see it's the highest common factor that will divide into the numbers we've chosen here, the 4, 10 and the 12. And the key is, again, we noted that we have a 2 to the 2, a 2 and another 2 to the 2. We didn't choose the 2 to the power 2, we chose the 2. Find the highest common factor of 84 and 512. Well, we express each number in its prime factors again. And we can see 84 is 2 to the 2 times 3 times 7. And we do the same with 512. We produce the factor tree and we end up showing that in fact 512 is 2 to the 9. And now we see what they've got in common and they've got the 2 to the 2 in common. Therefore the highest common factor of 84 and 512 is 2 to the power 2 which is 4. So 4 is the highest common factor of 84 and 512. And again, you will note we had a choice between the 2 to the 2 and the 2 to the 9, and we chose the 2 to the 2.